desperate calls to 911, but no one came to help. Five Investigates is looking into what went wrong when a doctor made those calls nearly three years ago as she and her fiance were both murdered in their home. Karen Anderson is in the newsroom right now. Karen? Well, we found there were two things in play, how the doctor's repeated calls to 911 were handled and the limitations of a system when you have to dial 911 from a cell phone. 911, this line is recorded. The call into Boston Police, May 5th, 2017, 741 p.m. 41 what? What's the address? What address, please? Hello? The call taker repeatedly follows a procedure to help people who can't speak. If you have an emergency and you need police, press one. If you need fire, press two. But after about two minutes of no response... I'm releasing this call. The voice on the line, Dr. Lena Bolanos. That 911 call was one of eight attempts from the same cell phone over the course of about 40 minutes. Dr. Bolanos' last desperate calls for help from her South Boston penthouse, where she and her fiance, Dr. Richard Field, were murdered. Hello, do you have an emergency? This police crime scene video, evidence of the terror inside their home. Their killer even defaced the pictures on the wall before police arrived about 40 minutes after Dr. Bolanos' final call. I know I'm, I'm in big trouble. I was defending myself. Their murderer, Bampamum Teixeira, speaking to detectives from his hospital bed the next morning, was convicted last year. But the handling of those 911 calls is still under investigation by Boston police. 41 what? On this call for help, Boston police only knew the location of the cell phone tower for the call, which was in the theater district, more than a mile away from the doctor's condo at 141 Dorchester Ave. But Five Investigates has learned there are steps Boston could have taken to try to find out the phone's location. Police can ask the carrier, in this case AT&T, for a call trace. It sends a signal to the phone to try to access better location data. AT&T could also have given police the name and building address of the owner, in this case Richard Field. There is no record in the call taker's notes of that happening. Also unclear is what difference, if any, an earlier response could have made. 911, this line's recorded. Where's your emergency? If you dial 911 from a landline, the call taker will have your exact address and can dispatch police immediately, even if you hang up or can't speak. But if you're calling from your cell phone, the information transmitted about your location can vary. It could be a big circle. It could be a large area. President of the Massachusetts Communications Supervisors Association, Charles Goodwin, showed us what call takers see when a 911 call comes in. He says getting a precise location depends on the technology in your cell phone and from your wireless carrier, as well as where you are when you make the call. If you're inside of a building, sometimes the rebar or the cement inside the building will actually block some of your location and you're not actually able to reach a GPS uh, satellite, so we can't get that great location. This is the most important call you may ever make. We've got to start treating it that way with our policies because we are going too slow right now. Federal Communications Commissioner Jessica Rosenworcel says the 911 system hasn't kept up with mobile phone technology. She says the FCC must push wireless carriers to better integrate its technology into the current system, and the government should invest more too. Have we done enough? Absolutely not. We gotta come up with a system that finds everyone exactly where they are, and it is completely frustrating to see that you can order a car service or fast food or something and they can find you faster than public safety. That's just not right. Now there have been significant improvements to the statewide 911 system since this case that can provide call takers with more specific loca location information from your cell phone. Now the most important thing you can do is know your exact location. Provide that information early in the 911 call that includes a floor number and unit number. The same goes if you have to use text to 911. Provide as much information as you can in that very first text. Karen Anderson, 5 investigates.